It is smooth. That's it. Oh, yeah. I am going to deal with it. it oh, no, spicy. Auntie, please, no! That man will not be happy until he pushes me over the edge. So we calm down. Keep everyone to sit and talk about this like adults. I am Mr. Smooth, oh yeah, smoothie. You. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm busy. You're right. Friends should listen. Well, it doesn't matter now. Oh, Cherry, please. Give this friend a second chance. <laughs> so, does Michelle know that you saw her? I don't know. She hasn't said anything. Maybe she's waiting for me to say something. I can see a dilemma. She's a friend. She's senior to you and, well, if you're wrong... If I'm wrong? Then I lose a friend, and everyone will think I'm horrible. If I'm right, what well, good is having gonna do? Well, it might encourage her to get some help. It might make her worse. So, what will you do? I want to keep this between us. If she has got a problem, then I need to find out about it somehow and help her any way I can. As a real friend should. <laughs> Do some collecting for you, if you like. You heard what the lady said. What are you going to do, old man? You are right. <laughs> I could have handled him on my own, Griffin. Just, just leave me alone. I'm taking you to the surgery. I'm not going anywhere with you. It's all your fault. You'll do as you're told, woman. Oh. For me, please. Come on. Will you stop manhandling me? I'm quite capable of walking on my own. Are you OK? My wife. She... I am not your wife. What did you mean? What's happened? You hit me. I did not hit you. It was a accident. It was a accident. Honestly. Shall I get, um, Cherry to see to your next patient while you sit here, Auntie? OK, thank you. Come on. Will you stop following me? What happened? Some yobo started messing around. I was getting rid of them, you know, when he stuck his nose in. Uncle Clifford? He thinks he's some kind of superhero. So he's not all bad, then, is he? Well, it doesn't seem to be damage to the eye. I have a lovely shiner, though. Any headaches? Only your uncle. The bruise needs time to come out, but an ice pack might help. Mm, thank you. Michelle, um, hmm? how did Clifford's hernia operation go? Why don't you ask him? Oh, you'd get the wrong idea and think I was worried about him. Well, you clearly are. Then you tell me. I can't. I'm your auntie. Yeah, you're not my real auntie. I don't believe me. I'm sorry. I, I knew you before you were born. I babysat you and I changed your nappy. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry I didn't mean to be rude, but you just keep going on and I'm not allowed to talk about it with the patients. Why are you even bothered anyway? You divorced him, remember? Don't get fresh with me. And besides, it doesn't mean that I don't... Don't what? You know, I can't make you two out. Why do you even get divorced? Look, I don't want to be rude, Auntie, but I've got the patience to see, so... OK. Thank you, Michelle. Give you at least two of your five a day. Ah. 
Let's get you home. I've got to get back to the stall to clear up the mess you made, or I'll lose my license. I will help you. I don't want your help, Clifford. Just leave me. I'll take a taxi. What do you think you're doing? You can't sell those in here. Did you hear what I said? If only I could put things right. No, I've got work to do, and you've got to go. Really? Oh, Julia, I'm so sorry about my uncle. What are you doing? Just barging in. I, I could have been seeing a patient. Sorry, I, I, I asked Ruth. She thought this room was empty. Sorry, Amy, I, did, I didn't mean to snap. He just made me jump. I bought these from the store cupboard. Julia said you were getting low. Thanks. Your uncle's still sitting outside in reception. Is he? I was speaking to him. He's really nice. Yeah. He was really worried about Doreen. Sweet or what? I wish they'd just sort it out and leave me out of it. You're nothing like my mum. <laughs> How do you mean? Mum's always the first to stick her nose in if someone in the family's got a problem. <laughs> She'd never turn her back on family. It's not what you do, she says. I'm not turning my back on anyone. Whatever. They're not even my real auntie and uncle. They're just old mates from my mum's. It doesn't matter then, does it? What are you still sitting here for? I'm lonely, Michelle. I miss her. Have you told her that? She never listens to me. She don't want me. It's not you she doesn't want, it's the gambling. So she told you. I wanted to stop. I did. But it don't matter now. She still loves you, you know. Did she say that? Yeah. But don't you dare tell her I told you. <sighs> You're gonna have to work really hard if you want her to take you back. And that means... I know. And I will do whatever it takes. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. What do you want now? I want to say... I'm sorry. For what? For letting you down. <laughs> and is that supposed to make everything all right? I mean, you're sorry now, but, but for how long? How long? I'm tired, Clifford. I love you. Give me one more chance. Please. Let me prove myself to you. You'll never change, Clifford. That's where you're wrong. I went into a betting shop earlier, and I didn't bet a penny. I don't believe you. I swear I it. I don't believe you. <laughs> Say you don't love me. Go on. Say it. No, I do. Help me, no woman.
I want you to marry me again. When I was in the hospital after the operation, all I could think about was you and what a fool I'd been. Doreen, my knees, them hurting. Step out a line, just once, Clifford, and it'll be more than your knees that hurt. need to talk to you about. Go on then. Yesterday, when I came back into the surgery. Yeah. I thought that I saw you drinking. And? Out of that bottle in your handbag. Yeah, lemon barley. You tasted it earlier, remember? Yeah, but the bottle. Are you saying I'm lying? Of course not. Cherry, I don't know what you're trying to imply, but let's drop it, OK? Yeah, of course. Night, then. Busy? Well, I... Good, we can have that chat. Fail to prepare and prepare to fail. My teacher used to say that. I bet he did. Well, quite simply, he is the most amazing man I've ever met. And within days of meeting him, I'd fallen quite gloriously head over heels in love. I'd like to cook you something nice tonight. Anything special lined up for afters? And Doctors continues on Monday at 6. Next tonight, The Power of Love in Jam in Jerusalem. <laughs>